we saw a lot of people get absolutely wrecked in 2022, losing 85% of their portfolio in the crypto market. Here's what we did differently, and here's what we will continue to do in the future that will build us financial freedom and soon generational wealth. So I do what's called a 50-50 exit plan. It's extremely important. Please listen to me on this. You have to have an exit plan. Cryptocurrency is still extremely volatile. Okay, we're still in the speculation phase. If you come into the markets to profit, you have to have an exit plan. Because remember, write this down. You are the exit liquidity. Okay, so from 2020 to 2022, I had was a 50% exit plan. So as everybody came rushing into cryptocurrency, I'd been accumulating to get rich quick. I was selling people my cryptocurrency on the way up. There's another video that we have on our channel around risk pyramid. So what I do is I'm pulling 50% of my crypto, okay, in the bull run, but I have very specific things that I'm doing with it. I'm gonna talk first about what I'm gonna do with the 50%, and then I'm gonna share with you what I'm gonna do with the 50% that's remaining. I'm gonna share one thing. Bitcoin, I'm not selling a dime of Bitcoin, and I'll break that down in another video. So for the 50% strategy around my alternative coins, which is everything outside Bitcoin. So when I pull 50%, okay, I'm pulling 50% out of the market. I'm gonna be max funding my insurance policies, real estate, and businesses, okay? So what I will be doing is I'll be pulling 50% of my profit from the market, I'll be paying Uncle Sam, and then I'll be max funding my insurance policies, I'll be investing into real estate, and I'll be investing more into my companies to make them more efficient and to innovate into the future. Now why do I use insurance? Think about this. I put $10 into the crypto market, I profit $20. I pull $10 off the table and I pay Uncle Sam 20. I have $30 left. I take my $30, which is house money now, profit, and I put it into my insurance policy and max fund my insurance policies. I'm now getting market-like returns. I can borrow against the cash value, richest man in Babylon, multiplying my money. And at the back end of my life, because of tax code 7702A, I can borrow against the cash value of my insurance policy tax free. So I'm locking in my tax rate because what do you think? You think taxes are going to be higher or lower when we get older? I believe lower based or higher based on our economy. Okay, so let's recap. So I'm pulling 50% profit. I'm pulling it down the risk pyramid. I'm putting it into max funding my insurance policies. We're going to be getting deep into real estate multifamily and I'll continue to enhance my businesses. Now, why do I want to continue to enhance my businesses and innovate into the future? Because that creates cash flow. So when the next bull run comes in, I put it back into crypto or the markets and I follow the risk pyramid once again. Okay, now we have 50% left. Now one caveat I'll tell you guys, I have 100% of my Bitcoin and 50% of my altcoins. Very, very important. Never leverage against your crypto or borrow against your crypto in a bull market. <laughs> Take it from me, don't do it. I did it and it did not work out. In a bear market when everything settles down, I will be staking for interest income. Okay, I wanna make some income off of the crypto that's left there, okay, based on the staking protocols and regulation and all that stuff. And as things start to normalize, I'll leverage against the remaining cryptocurrency to buy more assets, right? Because how do wealthy people become wealthy? You borrow against your assets tax-free. So let's recap. 50% is exiting the market. It's gonna be max funding my insurance policies. I took house money and I insured the house money. My house money is now compounding with market-like returns, it's indexed in the market. I can also borrow against the cash value of my house money, richest man in Babylon, multiplying my money to buy more assets. I'm also able to touch and access that money at around retirement age because of tax code 7702, tax free. And I also have insurance for my family. So I'm taking money that I profited in the crypto markets, very speculative, high risk, high return, and I'm bringing it down to tier one capital. So it's very important. You don't have to follow my game plan. I just wanna be open and honest with you guys exactly what I'm doing, but you have to have a game plan. Because if you've never had wealth, which I didn't, that's why I lost my money three times. And the third time I finally had to be more committed to the pain of change and staying the same, and I had to rewire my brain to wealth. Once I understood how wealth works, there's not one multimillionaire going on billionaire 
that is talking about meme coins. I'm sorry, they're just not doing it, guys. They're talking about some things like probably Bitcoin, maybe some XRP, but they're not talking about meme coins. They're talking about big moves with their money, things they can compound, grow, and most of all, protect their wealth. So yes, crypto, you can get very, very wealthy, but we saw people get wrecked because they didn't rewire the foundation. So this is my exact plan on exactly how I went from broke on my parents' couch in 2020 to financial freedom, and now from 2024 to 2030, generational wealth by following this exact plan. Warriors, rise, get your shit together, let's go.